Operation Red Start was a 12-month investigation into a serious and organised crime group led by Peter and Stephen Clark, originally from Netherly Liverpool, more recently residing in Banks and Talton in Lancashire. Primarily, this was a drug importation and distribution investigation. However, the case uncovered several wider conspiracies. In addition to this, including the possession of firearms, a conspiracy to commit grievous bodily harm, and money laundering on a huge scale. In September 2011, officers started to watch Peter Clark. It was immediately apparent that he was living beyond his means. The use of high-value cars was observed, as was frequent overseas travel. In the month of December 2011, this was spent in Dubai with his older brother Stephen and their respective families. In their absence, Peter's lifelong friend, Gordon Fisk, took over responsibility for delivering drugs across the North West under the cover of his legitimate employment as a blind salesman. Arrests on the 2nd of March 2012 demonstrated the extent of this supply. On that morning, Fisk was seen to attend an associate's address in Bootle, Liverpool, where he collected a consignment of drugs. He then provided them to an associate, Terry Sargent. In the video, Sargent can be seen with gloves on, hiding two kilos of cocaine under the bonnet of a hire car. Sargent then delivered the hire car into the hands of Alan Bentley, who was tasked with driving the vehicle to Northern Ireland. However, he was stopped at Birkenhead Docks and arrested with drugs worth over £98,000 on the streets of Northern Ireland. Meanwhile, the team were monitoring the activities of other gang members. Mark Higgins had been tasked with transporting the cash back to the northwest and had been stopped with £20,000 concealed in his vehicle. Sean Johnson had also been watched travelling to and from Northern Ireland for the gang and on the 16th of March 2012 he was stopped on his return from Manchester where he had collected 10 kilograms of amphetamine worth £100,000 from Manchester-based drug dealer Daniel Edgar. A month later, on the 25th of April, the police made two significant fines. Paul Bennett of Southport was stopped leaving the village of Tarleton in his company van. In a sports bag, officers found 10 kilos of high-purity cocaine and a kilogram of cannabis, the combined street value of which was almost £3 million. Earlier surveillance on Bennett had linked him to a lock-up garage in the Ainsdale area of Merseyside. When officers searched it, they discovered a cache of firearms, ammunition and weapons that had the potential to cause devastating harm to our communities. The photographs show eight prohibited firearms, including a sawn-off shotgun, Glock and Ruger 9mm pistols, two loaded .38 revolvers and two stun guns. On the 20th of June 2012, Titan officers went to search an address in Derby, it was the home address of Sukdev Singh, the gang's international money launderer. £172,000 in cash was found in an unassuming mid-terraced house, but it was the presence of money counting machines and ledgers that revealed the true scale of the illicit trade. Cash transactions totalling over £51 million over a three-year period were documented. Peter Clark and Gordon Fisk had been evidence visiting Derby on a number of occasions. The dates corresponded with the code names being used in the ledgers. Entries using the code name amounted to £1.8 million in cash of the overall figure. Further high purity cocaine, ammunition and cash were seized from Manchester based drug dealers during the summer. The net was closing in fast on Peter Clark and so the focus of the investigation turned to his older brother Stephen, who had long been associated with the Liverpool night scene and DOS security industry. It was apparent that Stephen's business interests included drug dealing, violence and money laundering. Stephen was identified as being instrumental in the arrangements to supply cannabis to Northern Ireland. On one such occasion, his associate Mark Wyatt arranged for John Wilson and others to transport 16.5 kilograms of the drug worth £300,000 from Birmingham through Holyhead and onto Northern Ireland. In September 2012, Stephen and Peter Clark were arrested with associates charged and remanded with several serious conspiracy offences. Their wives and sister Lynn Murphy were charged with money laundering offences, Murphy having been found to be hiding almost £185,000 in cash on behalf of her brother Stephen. Further drugs and cannabis farms were located, including this example at Paul Lawler's house. Titan has thoroughly dismantled this crime group with the prosecution of over 30 criminals, including 14 men and 4 women.
cocaine, heroin, ecstasy, amphetamine and cannabis with this combined street value of £4 million were recovered. A frightening cache of firearms and weapons were seized and the team uncovered an international money laundering operation involving the movement of over £51 million in cash during a three-year period. As a direct result of the professionalism and tenacity of the investigation team and the Crown Prosecution Service, the vast majority of the defendants pleaded guilty at the first available opportunity without the need for trials at great public expense. Proceeds of crime proceedings have now been implemented to strip them of their ill-gotten gains.